such freedom. in us and we become the trainer and and so you're right we're, yeah. we're sometimes we're thinking I'm just gonna go I'm gonna be like uh, Noah and just get in the boat and shut the door and wherever it takes me boaty doty do 
and we can't do that. We have to have a clear vision and knowing what. Right. So for church planners, what is the specific download of the vision that God has placed for you, for your specific area, your people? Is that clear? It's not just because our doors open. We're going to do what you talked about today. We have our program. It's going to be praise and worship, and we're going to have prayer. We're going to do a message, and then we're going. To, no, 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 no. That's not the vision. Okay. Right. Right. We all have a vision, but the majority of us in this room, we're all doing that. In terms of a common flow, in terms of what a service will, service is not a vision. Glory and honor and praise. Touch him, body, soul, and spirit, Lord. Keep his body in good health, Father. We give you praise, we give you honor, and we give you glory. Everything that is connected to him. We thank you for our brother Wayne, Father. We thank you for his life. Thank you for his family. Thank you for what you're stirring in his heart right now as it relates to this region of Arizona. We pray that you would order his steps. And Lord, we pray now that, Lord, the vision will become alive in his heart, that it will be clear, and he'll be able to clearly articulate it as he writes it down. We pray your choice his blessings upon them now in the name of Jesus. Let them both have traveling yes, grace today. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' name. In Jesus Amen. Amen. Amen.